Good morning, all you happy hookers. Good morning, all you happy hookers. I hope you're all having a gorgeous day. This video tutorial is for the chimney sweep square as part of our 365 day granny square crochet along project. You can see that I've made a little start here already. I've just done a chain of five, joined it with a slip stitch and we're gonna be working into the center of the ring. So I'm going to do a chain of one and then we're going to do 12 single crochet into the ring. I'm going to crochet over my tail so I have a little bit less weaving in to do at the end. So 12 single crochets through the center of our ring. I'm sure you guys can handle that. So I will meet you back here when you have a ring of 12 single crochets. See you in a moment. Okay, I'm back. 12 single crochets into the ring for the center. I've joined the last to the first with a slip stitch and we can move on to round two. We're going to chain four, which is going to serve as our first treble crochet. So that's chain of four. Got an annoying tail in the back there. <clears throat> We're going to treble crochet into the next two stitches. There's, sorry, having a lighting issue today. That's not a treble, that's a double. Wrap twice into the next stitch. Bring up a loop, two off, loop, two off, loop, two off. So there's one treble crochet. Going into the next two stitches. So there's our second. Now we're going to chain four. Three, four, and then we are going to single crochet into the next stitch. Uh, slip stitch, sorry, not single crochet. So we have our four little stitches there, chain of four, two trebles chain of four with a slip stitch and we're going to do that three more times so chain four one two three four treble into the next two Be difficult wool. There we go. One and two, and then we're going to chain four and join it with a slip stitch again. We're going to do that exact same stitch sequence two more times. So we get back to our starting round. At the end, we're going to join the last chain four to the same stitch as the beginning of the round and fasten off so we can start with our second color. So have fun. I'll see you in a okay, moment. I'm back. We finished round uh, two, joined in to the starting point. I've just joined colour B on to the last chain four space that we made. I'm going to do a chain of four and two treble crochet all into that chain four space. Two 
triple crochets. Looks a little bulky just because I am working over my end. Really don't like weaving in ends. Who does? It's not the fun part. So once we've got a chain of four and two treble crochet in that same chain four space, we're gonna slip stitch into the top of the next chain four space. So in there just with a slip stitch, chain four, two treble crochet, one into each of the next. We're not working in a chain space, we're working into the top of the row trebles from the previous round so there's one and two oops dropped a loop try again there's two treble crochet now we're not able to slip stitch into the next so we're going to chain four Slip stitch into the next chain four loop. Slip stitch into the next chain four loop. And then we're going to repeat all of the that stitch pattern again. So a chain of four, two, three, four. Two treble crochets into the same chain space. One. Two. Oh, just one. Getting ahead of myself. Just focused on my yarn that's continually separating. I do love the colour and it is gorgeous and soft. Okay. Uh, so then we slip stitch into the next chain four space, chain four again, and we're going to place a treble crochet into each of the treble crochet from the previous round. So that's one and two. So you can see how we're starting to form up now. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next chain space. And we're gonna continue that exact same stitch pattern until we meet up with our original chain four. We'll join up with a slip stitch and finish off ready for our third color on round four. See you okay, in a moment. We're back. I finished round three with my second colour, joined it into the original um, chain four start. I've just got an untidy tail tucked in there. There we go, that's a bit tidier. Um, I've joined on my third colour into the final chain four space that we made with a slip stitch. I've chained four and we're following pretty much the same stitch pattern. So we've got two treble crochet into this same chain space. So chain of four, two treble crochet, we're going to slip stitch into this next chain space, chain four, treble crochet into the two from the previous round, that's one. And two. Going 
going to slip stitch into the next chain full and chain full two treble crochet Okay, so you can see how we're following pretty much the same pattern. From here, we're going to do a chain of four. Slip stitch into the next chain of four set. And we're going to work that exact same stitch pattern again, three times more. So I'll run it through this again and do the last two on your own. So chain of four, two treble crochet into the same chain of four space, you have to excuse my hands, I've been gardening all week, getting ready to host a big party, it's going to be great. I do love my gardening. I don't like that it takes me away from crochet, but there's only so many things you can do at once. Uh, so I've just slip stitched into the next chain four space, done a chain of four, and I'm just doing treble crochet into the top of the previous stitches. So I've done one, there's two, we're going to do that again, slip stitch into the chain 4 space, chain 4, treble crochet into the top of the previous rounds stitches, so there's one, and two, We're at the end of the stitch sequence, so we finish it by chaining four, two, three, four, joining it into the next chain four space, ready to start that stitch sequence again. So you'll need to do that two more times. I'll let you guys happily hook those last two by yourselves. Remember you can always skip back uh, about four and a half minutes to start the stitch sequence again and guide you through the remainder of the round. We'll finish off by slip stitching into the first chain space that we're working in um, and finishing off because we're going to be using our fourth and final colour on the next round. See you in a moment. Okay, all you happy hookers, we are back. Finish round four. Joined it off the same as the previous. Uh, with a slip stitch into the starting chain four space where we began and finished it off. I've joined on my fourth and final colour um, for round five into our last chain four space that we created. Just joined with a slip stitch and done a chain of four. Very similar, exactly the same pattern pretty much, stitch pattern. Um, just obviously we are working around more squares, more little squares that we're creating, um, so it's a little bit longer. So I've got the chain four, just put two treble crochets into that chain four space. Now I have, I'm going to slip stitch into the next. Chain four, treble crochet into the top of the two from the previous round. That tail is being a bit annoying. My treble crochets. Okay. 
which you just got to love a treble crochet because they do wake up quickly even if you are a slower hooker so we've done the same stitch sequence again slip stitch into the next chain four space create a chain of four treble crochet into the top of the next two stitches So you can pretty much see that each um, set of stitches, oops, dropped a loop, try again, is creating one of the sides of our square. It begins on a corner, or just after a corner, we take it up to the corner, joining in to our last set on this um, row with a slip stitch into the chain four space chain of four triple crochet into the top of the stitches from the previous round there's one here comes two so we're at the end of this stitch sequence we finish it off by chaining four slip stitching into the next chain space and you can see what I mean we've done one side of a square we're about to start working down the same the exact same stitch pattern so chain of four two treble crochet And then we slip stitch into the next chain space and do it all over again. Slip stitch, Sammy, not a single crochet. Chain four. Treble crochet into the top of the two stitches from the previous round. Oops, get back on my hook. Okay, second treble crochet there. Slip stitch into the next chain four space. Chain four. Treble crochet into the top of the previous round stitches. Okay, we're on our last section for this stitch set. So I'm going to join into the chain four space with a slip stitch again. Chain four. Treble crochet into the top of the previous round stitches. One. And two. And we chain four, slip stitch into the next chain four space and begin that stitch pattern again. I'm going to leave you here to finish this round off. I'll meet you back here, joining into our original chain four space over here with a slip stitch, finishing off with this color because we're going to be going back to our original color to do the final round on the square. If you're wanting to watch the video to guide you through this stitch set again, go back about six minutes and 10 seconds. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, lovelies, I'm back, finished. Round five, looking very cute. I do love the direction of the stitches in this, the way that it varies, the texture it gives the square. 
along with the color changes. I really like this one. Ready to do round six now, which is our final round and the round where we're going to actually turn this into a square. So fill in all these little inverted triangles. I've just joined um, the first color into the last chain space we've made with a slip stitch. I've done a chain of one. We're going to work all of these stitches into this chain four space. So we've done a chain of one. We're going to work a single crochet, a half double crochet, cooperate, cooperate, wool, a half double crochet, a double. If I can get my loop, there we go. A double crochet. My my double crochet and a treble crochet all into that chain four space. We're then going to do a single crochet in the top of the next chain four space. Just a single crochet. So you can see already that we're going to be filling in those triangles. Excuse me. <coughs> and a half dou double crochet into the top of the first treble in this stitch. So a half double crochet. We're going to work two stitches into the next treble. We're going to work a double crochet. Going back into the top of the same treble, we're going to do a treble crochet. Need another loop for that. Hence the name. So a treble crochet there. And we're going to single crochet into the top of the next chain four space. And see how that's filling in the gaps. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to follow the same stitch pattern again. Okay? Single crochet in there, a half double crochet into the top of the first treble from the previous round. The second treble we work a double and a treble into the top of the same stitch. And then we join it to the next point with a single crochet into the chain four space. <clears throat> Working into the treble crochet, <clears throat> first stitch is a half double crochet, second has a double crochet. And a triple crochet. Now we're at a corner. We'll join in with a single crochet and the corner. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry. <clears throat> the, torn, the corner, of course, would work a little differently. So I've got into the top of the chain four space with a single crochet. I'm going to do a half double crochet into the same stitch. In the next treble crochet, we're going to work a double. Oh God, I'll do the whole little. I'm going to work a double crochet into the first treble. We're going to chain two. We're going to go back into the same stitch with another, sorry, another double crochet. 
So in that first treble we've got a double crochet, a chain of two and another double crochet. In the second treble space we're going to work a half double crochet and a single crochet. So a half double and a single crochet. around wall if you come a half double and then a single so we're getting that corner nice and square from there we work into the next chain four loop with a single crochet half double crochet a double crochet and a treble crochet so we're right back where we started And we can join in here with a single crochet and follow the stitch pattern that we just did on the previous side. Now I'm going to leave you to work through that one by yourself. I know I've only gone through that stitch sequence once, but we've got to watch the size of the videos. So if you go back about seven minutes, I'll be at the start of this row and you can follow that stitch pattern through again. I'll meet you back here. No, I won't. It's our final round and we're making it nice and square. So continue with that same stitch pattern. As I said, if you want uh, guided instructions for the other three sides, go back seven minutes. We just need to keep the size of the videos um, down to a certain amount of time. I hope that you have found this video very helpful and that you love your square as much as I like mine. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you next time.